everyone. Welcome back. Um, what can we begin with? I recently received some new moulds several days ago, maybe last week, and I decided to test the acrylic gap filler in the new moulds. It's one of these. Uh, let me get the white one. Okay, so I wanted to test it with my acrylic filler, the new moulds. So it's by Monarch. mini gap filler and it is acrylic acrylic gap filler you can save clear use that in your silicon molds so and this is white the they come in different colors too. Um, there's a black one. And it's called, uh, it's by Monarch Mini Colored Colk. This is Mini Gap Filler White. Same thing, just different color. Again, it says acrylic gap sealant. That's fine, sealant, filler, same thing. As long as it's acrylic, it will be fine with your silicon molds. And we'll find out, I've got a Stamperia uh, Maxi Mold. There we go. One of these. And I wanted to see if this filler would work. I've tested it with um, paper clay by creative that works just fine no problem we'll see if this one will come out I filled one just to be safe <laughs> just in case it didn't come out I'll demelt unmold it for you and see if that worked so again it's the acrylic gap filler any hardware store should have these it fills gaps seals you know like a bench top with a wall where you where they join it's just a sealant a filler gap filler works beautifully in the molds i bought it in bunnings in australia and it was two dollars forty i think and the colored ones are four dollars and the grams 250 grams I've seen taller bottles that has larger quantity. Alright, let's unmold these. So, the Stamperia mold is a new one for me. I've never used these before. Um, another new one is this Prima mold, pink, and it is. One of these pumpkin and spice molds by Prima Marketing. It's like a fall theme pumpkin leaves. Love the leaves. Wanna unmold? I wanna unmold. I wanted to see if the acrylic filler worked in this. So I've put it in last week and Two days or was it one day I made a note let's see pumpkin and spice one day so this one overnight 24 hours and the filler will be ready so you can see it's popping out Today is the sixth day since I put these moulds in. I wanted them all to dry up so I can do it in one shot. So this one, Prima one, 
small, not very thick, deep. Took one day to dry with the filler. So I'll happily unmold. See, not very thick. A little pumpkin. See, with the filler, if if you don't fill it completely, it gives you these little indentations. I think that's pretty cool for mixed media projects, you know. So it's not perfect. I love that. But you can make sure you, if you want a perfect mold, you can squish it in and make sure the air is out. But I think I like it like that. It's the pumpkin. See, they, they just crack out. It's the flower with the leaf. You still get the detail with this acrylic filler. Isn't that cool? Get this leaf. See? It's been sitting there for five days, it just came out. And you get these little things you can just they just rip off very easily. There's your leaf. And it comes out with the stem too. Sometimes with the paper clay, I put the paper clay in and I try and take them take it out, and the little stem gets left behind. But with the filler, you can get the whole thing. Get another leaf. There's some sayings here. I wonder how clear they are. Oh, not bad. This one says, give with a paper clay. Sort of came off, wasn't that clear? That's not bad. Give. Thanks. They are small words. Barely read it and fall. Sort of got a height to it, too. These ones. Isn't that cool? Now you get this and just with your finger, scrape it off with your finger. <coughs> See, it just pulls away. It is so satisfying. Um, these moulds I bought on craftonline.com.au It's a crafting warehouse. They're up in Queensland. It takes about four days to deliver to Victoria. They've got specials on Saturdays. Newsletters, new products come out on Wednesdays. Pretty cool. Free delivery, $50 and over. So this is the Prima mold called Pumpkin and Spice. Pumpkin and Spice by Prima. Very cool. I like it. So, paper clay by Creative Works in this, and the acrylic sealant filler gap works in it as well. Takes one day to dry. Very cool. You get a few sayings, get some leaves, get the pumpkin. And don't forget this acrylic gap filler is 
bendable. It bends so you can put it around round objects. You can paint it, you can cut it. If you don't want the stem, cut it off. You can paint it, you can gesso it. That's cool. Okay, that's that one. Put that here so you can see it. Alright, that's another one. Do this one. These ones are Zuri molds. They're pretty recent on the market. This one is the dragonfly. It's called Dragonfly Wings. It's part of an insect world collection. And it's by Zuri. It's pretty good. These are these molds are dark blue. Also, I wanted to test it with the acrylic filler. And this one took two days to dry. This one took two days to dry with the acrylic gap filler so see pops out yeah. all that detail comes out as well I used Paper clay by Creative as well in this mold. Came out really nice. Get all the detail. It's flexible. Get the whole tail. Beautiful. So two days to dry in the mold. See because they're a little bit thicker. So two days. Gorgeous design. If you're in Australia, they've got an online website you can buy from. Very good. That's that Zuri dragonfly wings. I also made a project. Um, with this one. This is a 4x4 four four canvas panel and this is the paper clay casting, all that detail. I do have a link at the end of this video for this project if you want to see how it's done. I left it natural, couldn't decide what colours to use, but this is the Dragon fly mold. Okay, that's that one. Very cool. Got another Zuri mold. This is called Butterfly Dance. Also, two days to dry. This one is again. Azuri mold. It's called Butterfly Dance. It's got two butterflies. That's that one. That also, I want to see, got to work with the acrylic filler. Hear the crackle. these end bits you can there you get the whole
Oh, butterfly. So much detail in it. So two days to dry with the acrylic filler and you get the things as well. Beautiful detail. Thin skin. You just peel it off. Lovely detail. In two days, it took to dry in the mold. I also made a project with this butterfly. Here you go. And there's also a video tutorial on how I made this. This is paper clay. Not much difference between paper clay and maybe it's a lot whiter. You still get the detail. But paper clay it's, it's all stiff. Can't move it. So again There'll be a link in the description box or at the end of the video for this project. Again, I like the way it looks, you know, it's pretty like this in natural form. So no colour. Bend, you can paint it, cut it, whatever, cut it in half. Very cool. So that's these two. They take two days in the mould. Um, another new mould that I got are these leaves. Leaves and uh, feather, I think. Um, that's this one. It's also by Prima. Decor molds redesign called Monstrera. Monstrera. And its leaves and feathers. Um, by Prima. I did make a list so I could remember what days, how long they took. Prima redesign my story. Two days, this one. This one took two days. Two days with the acrylic gap filler sealer. Two days. Got a few designs. They're not very thick. Detail. Mm. 
end. This cycle. Endless possibilities. Even with the molds, you can. They are food safe. But if you use food, maybe buy another mold. Keep it separate from the acrylic filler. Now, like candy or melted chocolate and whatnot. I used paper clay in this mold and also this acrylic filler. I've used hot glue before in the smaller molds. Just don't like the way it turns out. It dries too quickly. So I don't really use hot glue. Um, so that's the leaf. You get all the detail. I also made a project with this leaf I'll show you yeah. big leaf there process of editing a video how I made this so keep an eye out that's that leaf can you see these that's from the other mold from this pumpkin and spice I used everything that was on there the letterings the leaves flower pumpkin two leaves yeah see the leaves the label, pumpkin, that leaf, flower, this leaf. And uh, these are paper clay. I used paper clay to make these. <laughs> I was in a hurry to see what they look like. Do you get it? These take one day, so I've got some paper clay by creative it's excellent product you don't have to knead it you don't have to bake it air dries and once you put it into the mold you can take it out you can glue it down straight away into the project and it will dry you know and this one is the stemperia um, I'll show you that in a minute I use that here This is so cool. There will be a video tutorial. Keep an eye out. Okay. Here's another leaf. Also very cool. You still get the detail with this acrylic filler. No problem. Two leaves. Another one. Oh no, I assume leaf or feather. Not bad. Haven't done project yet with these ones. So this one took two days to dry in the mold. These can be just pulled away with a fingernail. I don't bother cleaning it much. If there's too much in the cavity, I'll dig it out. So there's this one. Awesome. It's the 
redesigned decor molds from Prima called Monstera. Hope I'm saying it correctly. And this took two days with the acrylic filler. Very, very cool. Alright. I used one tube is 250 grams. I used one of these to fill all this. One of these. And I had some left over, so I filled a Finnebeer mold. It took me only halfway. Now this one, Finnebe by Prima, and it's called Mechanica. I haven't got the paper thin, but I love this one with all its gears. Now these moulds, they take a little bit longer. Uh, two days. This one took two days. These gears aren't very deep, so... They are thick. They are thick. But this one took two days. Some of the other ones, the stars and moon and wings, I take up to four or five days because they're a lot deeper. So this one's Mechanica. Again, you can just pluck this off, bend it, and pluck these out. Are you itching to see the Stampera if it comes out? Me too. <laughs> and pluck that out. So that's one of the gears with the acrylic filler. Um, I've got this little guy. All these little wheels. Gear. flat screw head all these little gears he just pulls away and pops out another screw head little gear so two days or three days with um, this and this that would take longer I could take these ones out in two days, but these two shapes, maybe three or four days, because it is a little bit deeper. And then this one, oh, <laughs> yeah, it all comes out in one. Okay, half of that one. Screw heads. You've got half of this one. You can still use that. No side of something. Even the smallest come out with the acrylic. You gotta love this mold. All types of shapes. Well, I don't know if you can use that, but half a little key. these in the center when you're filling it you can be more careful in scraping the top 
and that will all it won't appear all this skin but because it's strong material you can bend it and get the skin out sure it can be a little fiddly but it's worth it though that's what I think to do a key They even come out all together. Get in there with a pick or something. My famous little skewer. Shove it in there and clean it up. to clean because you don't want these bits in there when you're refilling it I usually tap it upside down on a desk and all those extra bits will come out of the um, castings so this is the Finnebear Mechanica mold and it takes two days to dry Except for these two shapes, three, four days, no problem. So that's that one. Now, let's see. Will this stamp area one come out? What do you reckon? I had my doubts. I knew it would take a while. But I wasn't sure how long and if it would come out because it's not a silicon mold it's made out of soft plastic that's what I've been told it's just totally different than your silicon molds I think you can use this two ways you can make an impression in um, paper clay perhaps by using this side and you can also fill it there's uh, cavities again with paper clay I put paper clay which one did I use uh, I think it was this one I wasn't sure how it will work or I used this one is this and that's paper clay 
Gee, cracks. You may like that, it's alright. Sort of lost a bit of detail here. But it's okay. It's mixed media. That was paper clay. So this is Stamperia Maximold. Doesn't really have a name. But these are frames, small frames I think. I filled one of them with the acrylic gap filler. They are deep, but next day, what I noticed is I was able to peel this thin film off. Yeah, so I had hopes for this one. If the acrylic gap filler comes off, thin skin, then it should dry and come out. Just a matter of how long. Well, this one took five days. That's all right. I can wait five days. <laughs> but it's worth it, I guess. We'll see. Um, I was worried. So I had this in the laundry, cold. We've got winter. And there was a bit of sun shining through the window. So a couple of times I put it onto the sun. Don't let it get too hot. But there was a little bit of a heat. Sort of a light helped it to dry it's it it is flexible but it's not very stable when you're filling it it hasn't got any stability like the silicon molds they have a flat back so it sits nicely on the desk but this it's I don't know it's just wobbly it doesn't sit flat but you can still use it. No problem. Alright, let's see. There's a little corner here. See, it's lifting off. So let's see. The rest of it will come out. Eek. Oh, yeah. bottom sort of helps. I don't know how long these moulds will last. But look at that, it came off. <laughs> I wonder how many times. You can see, I don't know, not really, but still in the shape. It didn't distort it or anything. It's still got the detail in the mould. It's just funny fiddling with it, trying to get it out. You think it's got a break, but I don't think so. I've got it out. And that was this one. And still feel it's a little bit tacky but it it's dry it came out and with this one I didn't use any primer I didn't put any powder or oil I just filled it in as is I've made a video how I filled this in so you can see and it still came out I can get some light. Hmm. See? Still got the detail. Oh wow. Cool. 
So I'll say yes, you can fill the Stemperia Maxi Molds with acrylic filler. And please do so. Still got all that detail. Again, it's flexible. Imagine putting this around a jar or something. Um. <laughs> Mini shell. Look at that. Be cool. Frame on a jar. I know you can do it with paper clay and all that, but as it dries, it cracks. This won't crack. You can paint it, you can gesso it, you can cut it in half if you want. Oh, they're so cool these ones. This is my first Temperia mould. Got such cool products. And I've got some more on the way. <laughs> so these are the small frames. detailed I tell you they are thick though the other one I did this one it's really chunky haven't done a project with this one oh this way oh, I never thought of that. horizontal vertical oh wow it's got leaves on this one well I have one tube left guys <laughs> I bought what was it 10 of them ages ago yep use them all except for one so I've got one I'm thinking if I can do all these I'll film it for you See if one two fifty grams will fill all this and do it unmolding as well. Oh, I haven't got any paper clay left, so I ordered some, so I can't see the rest of them. Not yet. Oh, so cool! So cool! Oh, awesome. I am impressed. I am so happy this came out. So, so happy. <laughs> I also bought this on craftonline.com.au. They've got a few stamp area. Rice papers, stamps, paper pads. Uh, stencils, I think. I don't know. Some of their pastes. Oh, I can't get over it. What a stunner. Imagine one of the Stamperia rice papers. There have been projects around. I've seen them. Hockey dokey. So yes, 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 acrylic filler works in Stamperia moulds. So please do have a go. It's awesome. Can't wait to get some more. There were some heart ones, but I missed out on those. But they should come back in stock. I'm going to fill this soon with my last tube. $2.40 Bunnings Hardware Acrylic Gap Filler Acrylic Filler Acrylic Sealant Make sure it's acrylic And it will work in your Stamperia moulds And your silicon moulds So cool Ugh, Not much space around here So we've got 
Finnebe took two days. Um, this one took two days. By Prima leaves. The Zuri molds were what was it? One day? Or was it two days? <sighs> Zuri Zuri, two days. Two days to feel to dry, sorry. Two days. You wanna see a sneak peek or a whole project on this one? I'm processing this video. You wanna see? Shall I show you? Ready? Video soon. Beautiful design. That was paper clay. So this one took two days. And this little cutie. Love the leaves. Love the leaves. Prima. Pumpkin and Spice took one day. Overnight. Gorgeous leaves. on top. Your flower. Huh? Possibilities are endless. Well, that's cool. <laughs> I love it. Love it, love it, love it. I wanted to show you how to scrape off. I might have done a video on this. See a scraper? You just scrape it off with your scraper. Scraper with a scraper. At an angle, even with a corner. Little jabs. Easy. Easy peasy. There you go. One quick little tip. And this is five days, six days after. one to clean that one <laughs> this is a good size for the wider mold anyways good stuff I am happy can't wait to create more more with all these shapes So I made all this with one tube, 250 grams, all these shapes, with one tube, one tube, oops, okay, everything falls, not much space here. Large, small, thick, thin. Yeah. Take this one. All these ones. Just to give you a rough estimate of how much one. One tube of acrylic filler. You'll always get some extra, so fill another mold. All these embellishments, I ain't gonna count them. You see? All these ones I filled with one of these. And this is a mini one, 250 grams. Will give you this many embellishments. How's that? It is so cool. And you can redo them, redo them as many times. There's also a black. I love using the white because you can color it, whatnot. But there's also different colors. This one's black. There was a cream. I haven't seen a clear one though. 
clear one would be awesome. That way you can put, you can colour the clear one. I'll have to look into it. These ones are coloured colk. They're four dollars. These white ones are two dollars forty or something. These ones four dollars twenty-five or so. Two fifty, two forty grams. Oh, this one's two fifty. Okay, that one the same. So black cream. Oh, I don't know what other colours are, but explore it and make sure it's acrylic. If you can't see it on the front which this one doesn't say. Look at the back, the instructions, and I found it in this little information here. It says acrylic, acrylic gap sealant. This one says acrylic gap filler. As long as it's acrylic, you're good to go with your silicon molds. So, happy crafting everyone and talk to you soon.